It's feeding time. It's feeding time. Oh. It's feeding time. He just woke up. Um, as he's, you know, you can tell he's totally awake right now. He loves to like pass out whenever we're feeding him. But he's got his new outfit on. This is a zero to three month Burt's Bees outfit. We've got ourselves some handy dandy little gloves right here because he keeps scratching his face. And I cut his nails, but they grow so fast. We got gray socks on, a beanie. It's 100 outside, but he's gonna look uh, very warm. I'll probably, we'll try to end up putting him in that swimsuit. I don't know if he can fit in that little swimsuit. Yeah, we can get him to fit. We can try to get him to fit. We'll see how it goes, but we're having people over today and we've got my mom in town. Who's over there? Hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> She's not ready yet. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be, we're gonna try to vlog. Maybe we should try to make foodie vlogs like as much as we can on the weekends or something. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. But we're gonna try to put as much videos up as possible. We've just been really bad. I've been really bad just because it's, I'm still recovering and all that kind of stuff. I mean, as you can see, I look beautiful right now. Uh, but we're, we'll try to put them up as much or as more as possible because I know you guys want to see this little guy as he's growing up. He was, situation, he has a little bit of a witching hour, I feel like. They say witching hours go between 6 and 10 p.m. His starts at like 5 a.m. and he starts to just grunt his little butt off. If you guys want to tell me what this is, he just grunts and goes crazy and it's like he's trying to push out a poop but he can't get it to come out and he does it for like a straight hour and a half. And we push his legs up, try to make him toot and all this kind of stuff, but it just, it's an interesting thing. It only, it happened last night, but it didn't happen the night before. That's been happening a lot and it keeps us up. Luckily, we'll let me take a nap though, because I needed that. You needed, needed that, that first job. Real bad. Like Betty's getting an overhaul, sound system overhaul guys. That's going in. We'll be back later. Hey! Hi. hi, say hi to Fooby. Hi, Fooby. Alright, we're gonna go to the grocery store. New day, Fooby. We forgot to record yesterday. Oops. There are some stuff happening today, though. So, there's like a block party, and we're going to our friend's house. He's gonna have his first outing at someone else's house. So, we're gonna give that a try and see how it goes right now. He's just uh, swinging, checking out. There's these like black and white things. Babies at his age see a lot of black and white, if you can see underneath. And he gets really into those. He gets really into it. We're on our way. To the outing. We've got everything packed. We've got the baby who needs to wake up. He's been sleeping for like three hours. And uh, we're about to head over to our friend's house and see how he does. I think he'll be good. I think it'll be just like normal. We just gotta, you know, do his normal schedule. Right now, get in that car seat. That's where he gets upset, guys. Usually, let's see what he's gonna do here. How you doing? He's like, what the heck, Dad? I just woke up, what are you doing? Aw, oh, buddy. You're a sweet man. He's got a sleeping baby. He's made it to the house that we're at. He's got his boppy on the bed. And he's got his little sleep right here. He's probably gonna wake up here in a second. He's got his wubba nub. It's the fox one. He's ready. He's ready to party. He was so asleep. I finally got this kid to fall asleep. And then boom. He's wide awake. He's This is the longest he's ever been up. He usually is only up for like two hours at a time. Kid's been up. Kid is wired. Say I'm ready to party mom. I'm ready to party, Mom. Let's party. He was so asleep. Come up here, heard him on his baby monitor. Boom, wide awake. Ready to party. This kid. We're, I mean, I guess we're at our first party together, so this is what he wanted, but come on, man. Mom needs to be able to eat some food, bro. We've got Daddy out here. We've got our Aww. swimming onesie on. We're not gonna really put him in, but we might dip his feet. I, I think he might like that. Oh, you did? What yeah. did he say? He just kind of just took it. He like liked he, it? Like he does everything. Oh my gosh, look at you. I wish I would have seen that. All right, we're doing the feet dip. The Rookster feet dip. The Texas summer. Oh my gosh. Is he just okay with it? He's like, give me out of this sun, Dad. It's too bright. We need. We should have brought a sunscreen. It's just fun. Oh. Yeah. Order of mom business number two. We've changed. We're out of the swimsuit. We're in an outfit. We got our hand. Oh, did you just? Oh no, you did not just do that. We got our little hand things on. Now we got to make the bottle. He needs a bottle. We finally got him to fall asleep, and now we got to start taking him home. So I'm gonna show you like his bedtime routine when we get home. Um, it's been a really good day. I did not get like crazy. Memorial Day, people go out and drink and stuff. I'm just too afraid to do that right now because <laughs> I have to be up at like two in the morning. So I have a kid. I can't really get like crazy anymore, but we had a good day. Um, we're now gonna take him home and hopefully get him put down. And more than likely, he will be up at like two in the morning and <laughs> I'll have to feed him. I might actually show you all the nighttime feeding. Like life as a parent 
is crazy and I never knew what it would be like and it is actually crazy but I'm gonna get him loaded up we're gonna get back to the house maybe I'll talk a little bit more about that with you guys there Mr. Rook is back home and he is now denying his bottle he is so full <laughs> that he doesn't even want his bottle he doesn't even want his bottle very, very. that does not happen he has drank so much today he did not today. inherit that from me <laughs> you would never deny your bottle never. would you you would never so We've got them back here. Normally, I was gonna show you our routine. Normally, if you guys can see me right here, we have to give him his bottle, and then you give him two ounces, and you put him on this changing table. You change him, which we still need to do because he oh, needs to change. Let's just change it. So yeah, like that the change will be different, and then you give him more of his bottle, and then he's ready to go to sleep. Right now, he sleeps in this thing right here. It's called a rock and play, and um, I'm usually ending up right here. <laughs> So that is just like how it works. He's got this sound machine. If you're a parent, you've gotta have the sound machine, the dome, perfect. He's not in his crib yet. They can't be in their crib yet. I'm not gonna show this full process, but he's gonna get really upset. Oh, look at his belly button. No. Oh, 